What we're going to do in this video is find the maximum displacement of air molecules as they're vibrating back and forth. The sound is traveling from a source where the intensity is 120 decibels and the frequency of the sound is 200 hertz. So we're going to take this very same equation where we calculated the intensity and now we're going to do it backwards and find the maximum displacement. So first we're going to multiply both sides by 2 and divide both sides by rho, v, and omega squared. So this gives us twice the intensity divided by the density of air, the velocity of sound in air, and the angular frequency squared equals s max squared. And then we'll take the square root of both sides, and so, and then we'll turn the equation around, so we get s max is equal to the square root of twice the intensity divided by the density in air, the velocity, and times 1 over omega. Remember that omega is 2 pi times the frequency. Of course, we know the density and the velocity, and uh, now the intensity is expressed in decibels, so we have to convert that to uh, watts per square meter. Now, you might remember that 120 decibels is equal to 1 watts per square meter, but what if you didn't remember that? Well, then we can say that intensity in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity we're looking for divided by the uh, intensity of the, the base reference, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. Okay, so when we plug in the numbers, we have 120 decibels is equal to 10 times the log of I over I sub naught. So we're going to get rid of this now because that will now allow us to find the number I so we don't get encumbered by the units. We divide both sides by 10, we get 12 is equal to the log of I divided by I sub naught. Now we take the antilog of that, so 10 to the 12th is equal to 10 to the log of i over i sub naught. And of course that negates the log, so 10 to the 12th is equal to i divided by i sub naught. And of course i sub naught is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 12. That would be watts per square meter. And then if we cross multiply that, if we move this over there, 10 to the 12 times 10 to the minus 12, of course, is equal to 1. So that cancels out. So we get 1 watts per square meter is equal to the intensity that's equivalent to 100 intensity, sound intensity of 120 decibels. So knowing that, this is equal then to the square root of 2 times 1 watts per square meter. That's equivalent to a sound intensity of 120 decibels divided by the density of air, which is 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter, and divided by the velocity of sound in air, which is about 340 meters per second. And then, of course, you have to multiply the times 1 over the angular frequency, which is 2 pi times the frequency, so 2 pi times f, and f is 200 hertz. There we go. Now, I need a calculator. And let's see what that is equal to. So we have 2 divided by 1.29 divided by 340 and take the square root of that, divide that by 2, divide that by pi, and divide that by 200 equals. And that gives me a maximum displacement, S max, equal to 5.37 times 10 to the minus 0 0.5 meters, which is 53.7 micrometers. Now you say, wow, that's very small. But actually, it is not, because normally sounds uh, that have intensity of about 50 or 60 decibels have displacements in the order of 10 or so nanometers. 53.7 micrometers, that's the displacement, that's like a thousand or more times the displacement you hear from normal sounds, and that's because we're talking about a very loud sound, 120 decibels, or one watts per square meter. So you can see that very loud intensity sounds have much greater displacements of the air molecules than very faint intensity sounds, so sounds that are much quieter. So that's where all the energy comes from, is the much more violent vibration at much greater amplitudes to create these much louder sounds. So definitely, the loudness of the sound, the intensity of sound, is definitely a function of how, how, the, how great the oscillations are of the air molecules in the air that cause the sound waves. And 53.7 micrometers is quite a bit for the displacement of the air molecules. All right, 
So now we're going to tie, now we're going to try to find the maximum uh, pressure difference for sound at a certain intensity, and that's of course going to be in the next video.